Yeah, so one thing I wanted to make note of is even though those children and the people all around there are very needy, they're kind of destitute, but they're still very honest, I think. Like, we left the phone dangling here for the whole time with no one supervising it and no one nicked the phone. So even though a lot of people going off at the guys for, you know, grabbing fruit and stuff, it is... Maybe they don't understand that it's just for the kids and stuff. And they're still not that grabby. Like, even though the guys line up and try to shaft the system a bit, apart from that one guy, the woman's husband, that seller's, that vendor's husband, apart from that guy, he's, he's always double dipping and um, kind of demanding and entitled. But the other guys, they kind of do line up and they won't grab at stuff. Yeah, they they do put in their requests, but they're still pretty honest and stuff. So, yeah, like I said, we left the phone here for the entire time and it didn't get nicked. No one supervising. So that's a good testament to the honesty of the people out here. Yeah, just keep driving, man. Don't worry, I'll, I'll just chat. You don't have to slow down, man. So, yeah, they're worthy of being helped because they're kind of uh, good characters out here from what I've seen. Damn, the landscape is beautiful here. You probably get sick of it if you live here, but it's pretty cool. Apart from all the pesticides you'd be ingesting, I guess. And the roads, the roads out are kind of a horror if you have to traverse them every day by a you know, bike or car. By bike, I guess it's not that bad, but they, they aren't the best for cars and trucks and buses and tuk tuks and remorax. But yeah, we have organised to come back on Wednesday around 5.30. Um, I'd prefer to do it earlier. There's better lighting for the video, but they said some kids will still be in school, so 5.30 is more convenient for them. It's going to be around 2.50 again. Odom said that it probably will be over 2.50 as word travels through the grapevine which um, I already suspected as well it always gets blown out because people will invite their friends and you know word travels around but that's cool don't mind that 250 um, will be a big dent in the bank and uh, the passing out cash videos they're not so cool to to look at I guess as well which is why I'm thinking we're gonna try to make a make it more festive try to bring some food as well hopefully some protein um, so yeah I'll get that organized and uh, again big shout out to all the generous donors and sponsors for the video all the videos of the Cambodia trips Shout out to everyone that's been a part of it. My only misgiving is, you know, like the Vietnamese, they will run with help because they are only having a setback through the economic, you know, boycotts of the USA after the war. But once they get any kind of help with education and stuff, the Vietnamese will really take off. They'll be self-sufficient within one generation, basically. Whereas with the Cambodians, I don't know if the money will really have as much of an impact as in Vietnam because they're less, they don't really um, seem to be that successful in education. So. Guys, we're buying some eggs from this Hong uh, Chuk market. This place is uh, washing the eggs. It's uh, 650 real for one egg around 19,500 for 30 eggs. Today we're getting 40, so that's an extra 6,500. Uh, 2,600. 
or 26, 26,000. Um, I bought the old carton that we used before, but she insisted on giving me a new one. But yeah, these, um, getting these duck eggs. Right, so she's stacking them in here. Yeah, I decided to get 10 more, so we're getting 50. 50 eggs. Uh, you know, it's 40 didn't look that much. Right. Oh my god, the mangoes look delicious. Hello, how are you? Maybe we get all the mango. Sly. Yeah. All the sly. It's windy as hell. Very windy. But those mangoes look delicious. Sly. And they grow this? No. Oh, they get from market? Yeah. From the farm? Oh, cool. Yeah, we get this as well. And, and maybe uh, all the... All the Five and a half kilos, man. This looks delicious. I don't thought it was going to rain because of these dark clouds, but we checked the weather forecast. They said no rain. So, it should be alright. So, uh, it's 107,000 for all. For everything we got all the guava and uh, mango and um, custard apple